We can see the base of the light bulb now. It doesn't take a whole lot to remove it. We've got a headlight out. When you go to replace the headlight, take a look at them and note that it's either the outside or the inside so you don't mess up and try to replace the wrong bulb on the other side. Use a trim panel removal tool to remove the pieces holding in any trim that blocks you from your light. On some headlights, you need to remove the battery to get full access to the bulb. We're not going to disconnect the terminals on this battery. We're just going to loosen it up so we can move it to the side a little bit. This car has a plastic cover that you have to remove to access the bulb. A lot of German cars have this too. There's no threads on this, you just need to rotate it a little bit to pull it out. We can see the base of the light bulb now. It doesn't take a whole lot to remove it. These two side tabs are what the plug was holding onto. After you have the light bulb out, examine it to see what went wrong. This one, the filament clearly burned out on it, but if it seems to be in good shape, then you may want to check to see if anything burned on the inside. If it's burned or melted on the inside, you may have a bad plug, and putting in a new bulb isn't going to fix the problem. Double check to make sure you got the right bulb by comparing the old bulb to the ones in the new package. You can also check the base for either a 9000 number or an H number. This one is an H11, and that's what we got. From opening to installation, make sure you do not touch the glass part of the bulb. If you were to touch the bulb, Greases from your fingers would stay on the bulb, creating an insulation layer, keeping the heat in the bulb and causing it to burn out prematurely. The first thing you need to do is clip the wire in. All right. And then rotate it a little so that it can go in to the slots. Make sure it's flat and it goes into all three slots and rotate it. All right, that looks good. Those three slots are gonna line up with these tabs. Note that this tab is a little bit bigger. There's a bigger slot that only this one will fit in. If the rubber on your cover just needs to be cleaned, just take some water and a towel and wipe it off. Just find the slot where it slides in, rotate, and you're done. Let's see how we did. All right, all that's left now is putting the battery back in place, reattaching the plastic decorations, putting away our tools, and cleaning up the trash.